Guys, and David Hamer is live with the latest on the sewage and water boards prep for Ida. Yeah, and David, we had just talked with uh, uh, Gorban Kassan about uh, the preparation. He said uh, the uh, turbine four is up, will keep running. He said 96 of 99 pumps operable. Yeah, Eric, I want to try to clarify some of the things that Kassan Corban was talking about with you. There was kind of a mixed bag there. Some very bad news is that it's going to overtax the system if we get the levels of rain that we're expecting no matter what. But the really good news that we heard from Gassan Corban, the director of the Sewerage and Water Board, is that Turbine 4 is going to be available. That was the main workhorse turbine making in-house power. That means they don't have to rely on energy, they don't have to rely on frequency changers to make the old-fashioned type of power that runs half the pumps that drain the city of New Orleans. That means that they have about 68 megawatts of in-house power available. That's more than we've seen since before the May, uh, sorry, the August 2017 flooding here in the city. So that's uh, very significant. That gives him a level of confidence that should give us who live inside the city of New Orleans a level of confidence that this, uh, that they'll be able to bring all of their assets to bear, uh, assuming that those turbines don't uh, cut off again. And that's one thing to keep in mind about Turbine 4. They lost it for six years starting in 2012. Then they fixed it at a cost of upwards of $40 million. And then it, it went out again. And it was actually out for several months. They tried to bring it back on in May of this year. And then it went out again. So this has been a roller coaster with Turbine 4. It is the biggest source of power that they have along with Turbine 5. Those were both brought on now in the last couple of months heading into hurricane season. So we'll see if they hold up. If they do, that's very good news. Again, we're still without that one pump that's at uh, pump station 12 in the west end section of Lakeview. They say that the other two pumps that are adjacent, other two pumping stations that are adjacent will help drain that section of Lakeview eventually. But there's a reason why they have a separate pumping station there and it has, uh, it's not available at all. Uh, there's a single pump out at pump station six, but there's many more larger pumps there. That's the one along the 17th Street Canal uh, along the Jefferson Parish line. So other than that, they're in very good shape with pumps. But again, this really comes down to power. It has always come down their ability to make their own power because energy uh, as a source of power is very unreliable. And David, uh, uh, Gassan uh, Corban did mention that, that uh, while the power is important, they rely so much on energy that this station that they want to build in the future really has to come online. Yeah, and we've seen some good news there. They're moving forward with that, but that's not going to be ready until 2020. Right. Three. So, you know, the hope there is that you get more reliable energy power. You don't have to rely on overhead distribution lines, which obviously go out in uh, any storm of any kind of significance. So at relying on energy power in the middle of a high wind storm is, is dicey at best because there are some underground feeder lines that do bring in some power, but uh, they will have to convert that power to be able to run the older yeah. pumps and that takes an extra step and that means that, that those frequency changers are at the ready but though that creates another area where something can fail and i i also asked him about which which of those three pumps are critical he said only one is critical he said only one is critical yes he said the other ones were more uh, more redundant and backup yeah well the the you know, we have one out at uh, pump station six along that uh, uh, 17th Street Canal. That one is one of the larger pumps. Right. But uh, again, and, and that is a redundant source of, of uh, drainage for that area along West End that's not going to have any uh, pump available. The one piece of good news with that uh, pump station 12 not being available is that at least it won't run backwards and bring water in from the uh, Lake Pontchartrain into the neighborhood like we saw in recent cases like in May of this year, All or right. March I should say. Well he assured us that there would be no uh, screw ups like we've seen in the past. All right David, thank you very much. 
From WWL-TV, this is continuing coverage of Hurricane Ida.